Hi, this is for my orchestra repertoire class, Spring 2020, Brahms Requiem, the second movement. From the trombonist's point of view, and what a point of view we have from the trombone section. We are in the exact middle where the orchestra and the chorus meet. One of my favorite aspects of orchestral trombone playing has long been playing the great sacred works written for orchestra and chorus and exploring the roles that the trombones play. I was first initiated into this through an opportunity I had in high school to play the Mozart Requiem with a collegiate group at Swarthmore College. How I just loved playing along with the alto section in this great music. Not too many years later, I was a professional musician in Germany, and part of the freelance scene there includes the great churches and cathedrals uh, with their excellent choirs, cultivating this legacy of oratorios, masses, and requiems. And everyone knows how this stuff goes. It's amazing. So November in Germany is Requiem Month, starting as it does with All Saints Day. And my feeling is, if you didn't have at least one requiem each weekend, you weren't hustling. Mozart, Verdi, Brahms, and many lesser known requiems also. Now, on the Brahms, this movement is labeled Marsch Mesig, like a march. It's a funeral march. Let's think about funeral marches for a moment. Chopin comes to mind perhaps first. Yum, bum, da, da. That's iconic, almost a caricature. It uh, gets used in cartoons, for example. Then there's Beethoven's Eroica. Which I think was the direct inspiration for Ferdinand David's concertino uh, second movement, Trauer March, Funeral March. Then there's Siegfried's Funeral March. I won't try to sing that one. Mahler V, Symphony V, opens with the label Wie ein Kondukt, like a funeral procession. And finally, I remember as an eight-year-old watching the funeral procession for John F. Kennedy on black and white TV and being very impressed just by the drums. Dum. Boom, 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 boom. Now, interestingly, this Brahms march is in 3 4. And for me, that's symbolizing the Grim Reaper with his scythe. And believe it or not, there's a time in my life where I actually operated the scythe, and it goes like this. And cut back, and cut back, and cut back. So that's a, a picturesque interpretation for you, if you like. and. This movement, as the entire uh, Requiem, portrays a lot of lofty sentiments, inspirational, aspirational, from man's perishability and mortality to comfort, patience, and confidence in the hereafter, where there will be eternal joy, as we hear at the end of this movement. We'll be studying our individual parts presently. <laughs>